Little Kitty Big City is back on the channel. Today we are getting one step closer to saving my cat Roxy and bringing her back home. Okay, so this is where we left off. Last episode, we just talked with the bee or the beetle or whatever it was. He gave us a cell phone and we also have, can I see... We have 17 shinies. Okay, so we are eight shinies away from getting 25, which is what we need to get back home. All right, first things first, let's get out of here. Uh, I'm just gonna jump. Hopefully I'm not gonna ruin their cement too much. And sneak our big butt out, and beautiful. All right, so now we are back in the main area. I think you guys were telling me there's a lot of shinies underneath cones. I don't think I was searching that. So if I pull the cone... And... Aha! Oh my gosh, I was probably missing out on a ton of shinies. I don't know if every single one is gonna have a shiny. If they all have shinies, I'm gonna get 25 in no time. Oh my gosh. Wait a second, how many shinies have I missed by just not checking under cones? Oh, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. If you guys didn't help me in video games, I would never accomplish anything. By the way, if you guys want to see more Little Kitty Big City on the channel, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel right now. All right, we're at 20. I don't think I've checked under any cone. Oh my gosh. We're at 21. Let's just keep looking for cones. And we should be able to get to 25 very quickly. There's another one. Oh my, I am so mad at myself. I am so mad at myself. I could have gotten 25 shinies last episode. Uh, here's another one. Here's another one. And it never fails. It never fails. Oh, wow. All right, I'm at 23. I need two more. There's one. There's one. All right, we're at 24. We need one more shiny. And then we got to come back to this crow right here. Here we go. Here we go. Another cone right here. Come on. Give me a shiny. Give me a shiny. Give me a shiny. Yes, 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 yes. All right, sweet. Sweet, fantastic, and sweet. All right, we got 25. We got 25. I'm off to a much better start today than I thought I was going to be. Hey, buddy, I got 25 shinies for you. All of these shinies. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So shiny, so pretty, so reflective. Who's a pretty crow? Are you disposing of them responsibly? Uh, yeah. And with that, we have completed our first heroic act together. Can I try disposing of them? Definitely not. These are ancient crow rituals. Well, do I get my reward now? Your, oh uh, yeah, 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 your reward. Now, where on earth did I see that fish? Um, just a minute. He didn't have a fish, did he? Wait, crow, was this a scam? Where did he go? Oh, did I do all that work for nothing? Oh, he's back. Oh, there's the fish. There's the fish. Whoa, a fish. This should give you some climbing energy. Not enough to get all the way back home, but it's a start. Where should I start climbing? The, the ivy. That's why, okay, okay, all right. You're gonna need more fish to make it all the way back up to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere in the city. Just keep your eyes open and you'll find them. Thank you. No worries. Enjoy the fish. Oh, and keep hold of any shinies you find there. I've got an idea. All right, so I need to keep collecting more shinies. But for right now, how do I eat it? Eat it? Oh, it's delicious. Roxy is so happy. Oh, that's fantastic. I got... Fishy, this delicious fish has given you the energy to climb ivy. Give it a try. Oh, this is fantastic, and I got the achievement. I feel so much better. Let's go climb some ivy, okay? So if I go here, I can now climb the ivy. Oh, and there's another shiny. Let's grab the shiny for our crow friend. I don't remember what I named the crow. I'm going to name him Crowy. Yeah, that's going to be the name that I gave him. All right, and then there's some tall ivy. I assume I probably can't. Yeah, you see that little paw? I have stamina. And then I, when I run out of stamina, I fall. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. So I need to keep getting more and more fish until I have enough stamina that I can climb all the way back to my apartment building and be reunited with my family. Okay, I think I saw another shiny right here. What is this dude? Ah, hello there. 
Oh, I don't like the look of this. Ducks are mean, guys. I don't know if you've ever met a duck. They're mean sometimes. Or those goose. Geese. Actually, I think it's geese that are mean. I don't know about ducks. Maybe ducks are nice. I wonder if you could provide some, uh, urgent assistance. I think it depends on the problem. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, quite right, quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone, yet it's rather a pressing concern. Although, perhaps I'm just panicking. But, there's no two ways about it. Um, about what? Oh, didn't I say? I seem to have mislaid my ducklings. Mislaid? Is that a bird joke? I don't follow. Never mind, never mind. Missing duckling sounds pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Well, we were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood, me teaching the youngsters some local history. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? I didn't even know there was a robot statue. Wait, did the robot take the ducklings? I'm gonna go with the first one. I didn't know there was a robot statue. Oh, you should absolutely visit it. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense either. I'm not seeing how this relates to missing ducklings. Oh no, it's just a great story I shared with the ducklings before we split up to find more neighborhood stories for our little show and tell session. Show and tell? That sounds fun. Uh, oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions, all very exciting in the moment. But, um, I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha. Uh -huh. But you seem like a practical sort of cat, very resourceful, so could we team up? I'll keep watch here, been kind of enjoying it, really, and you scout the city. The whole city? It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down our search. Ah, Eureka! We made a city map just last week. Marvelous thing. Part of our project to catalog, catalog all of the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each of their favorite places on it too. Such enthusiasm for maps. And I bet that's where they will have gone. Here, you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. So I can track down the ducklings for the mama duck and I could find fish with that map. Yeah, baby. The duckling's map. The map made with the ducklings is really good. All right, press M to get the map. Perfect. And just ignore the fish markers. Can't see what interest that would be to a kitty unless you're the... I don't know. Okay, okay. So if I pull up the map, now I can see where the fish are and I can also see where the ducklings are. Oh, wow. This is a really big city. All right, so first things first, let's find this duckling, this duckling, and that fish. So if I keep going this way... Is there a missing duckling? Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh, baby, I found it! Look, look, look! What are we looking at? Only one of the greatest games of all time! Uh, are you old enough to be watching this? My dad says I have an old soul. Speaking of your dad, he asked me to come here and collect you for show and tell. Sure! Uh, that was easy. There must be a catch. I'll go as soon as the screen stops showing things. When will that be? No idea. I think it's been looping, so it might never end. I see. But if the screen goes dark, you promise you'll come back to your dad? Duckling's honor. Okay, so I need to unplug the game. How do I unplug the game? Swipe, swipe, swiping, swiping. No, that's not going to work. Okay, uh, how do I remove power? Hey, there's a shiny. Might as well get that while I'm here. One shiny, just for me. Oh, what if I move the bucket and the water? No? Oh, I really thought that was going to be it. I thought maybe the water would short-circuit all the electricity. What if I climb these boxes? I don't know where these boxes are going to go. Oh, I see a power cord. I see a power cord. Oh, there's a shiny. Well, I'm glad that I got a shiny, but that's not really helping me with my task right now. Can I climb on here? I can. I also see another shiny. Maybe this is telling me to go the right direction. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? This looks like something. Pull. Come on, Roxy. Did that... What did that do? Ah, oh, yes! Yes, that worked, that worked, that worked. Alright, can I get the shiny really quickly while I'm here? I want to get the shiny. Ah, I didn't get it, but that's okay. Alright. Hi, whoa, the walls are supposed to be sliding around like that? No, I don't think they are. I do not think they are. Definitely not. Oh, when I blink, I can see purple shapes. I think some time away from the screen is very good idea. We shall get you back to your dad. Alright, so I got the first duckling. Oh, it keeps falling. 
It keeps falling. I don't know how this thing is old enough to even talk. All right, here we go. The first reunited duckling. Oh, what a relief. How many ducklings are there, by the way? Wait, this isn't the full brood. That's the sort of thing my partner tends to notice. Should I leave them here while I carry on the search? No, I'll help. I'll help. Let me help. You can stay with the kitty as long as you promise to behave nicely. I promise. Hmm, a kitty being followed by ducklings reminds me of a story I heard as a youngster. Quite the epic tale. That was, you see, okay, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Let's just, let's just leave. We're going to leave. So the duckling's going to be following us? Why? Why would the duckling follow us? Let me get this shiny really quickly while I'm here. Oh, wait, I think I saw another one. Hey, there's another one right here. Oh, gosh. Hey, it's Tanuki. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back and talk to Tanuki later. Let me get this duckling really quickly. Yeah. I don't know if this duck can... Oh, that's a rubber duck. That's not the real duckling. Darn it. I didn't want a rubber duck. I wanted a real duck. All right, I dropped the rubber duck there. Let's go search for more of those ducks. So if I grab my map... Uh, I don't think I'm going the right way. I need to go... Is it... Wait. Okay, yes, I also... I just got pooped on again. The heck is that? What in the world is that? I don't know what that was. All right, am I going the right way now? No, I'm going the complete opposite direction, Brandon. All right, let's go this way. This seems like the right way. If I pull up my map... Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Now we need to go forward and to the right. All right, all right, this is good. This is good. Wait, is this guy gonna let me go? Ah! Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Leave me alone, buddy. Leave me alone. Oh, you know what? Because that's the way I have to go. I wonder if I need Tanuki. I might need Tanuki to help me get there so I can teleport. All right, you know what? Let's go this way. Let's go get the other duckling. It looks like if I turn left here, there's going to be a duckling there, a duckling there, and some fish there. All right, so let's go here. Duckling is going to be... Uh, where is it? Are we, have we gone far enough? Have we gone far enough? Uh, it looks like it should be like right here. It should be in here. Can I go in here? Somebody let me in. Somebody let me inside. Is it in there? Where is this darn duckling? Okay, you know what? I think I found Tanuki again. Uh, oh, I tripped some dude and he lost his briefcase. Sorry, it wasn't my fault. It was not my fault. Let me talk to Tanuki. Hello, test subject, or, um, esteemed lab assistant. I managed to get the pet work portals connected and up and properly running. That was quick. It would have been even quicker, but there was a minor space-time incident. Nothing to worry about, though. It turns out I'd been using linear space-time when I should have been using quadratic space-time. Laughable, really. Yeah, that's a, a very dumb, uh... Yeah, I totally would have known that. I totally would have known that. You want to try it out? It's really cool, and I need a test subject, um... Friends. Anyway, if we get this working, you can use it to fast travel around the city. Oh, all right. In that case, sign me up. Don't say no just yet. Hear me out. But I said yes. Firstly, there are... Oh, wait, what? I said yes. For real? Call me curious. Yay, this is so exciting. You won't regret it. Do you need feathers again? Not this time. Your first journey was so short, I had leftovers. Hop in. Oh, and hold on to that duckling. All right, here we go. We're hopping into the, uh, pet work. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. It's you. You came back. I thought I'd scare you off when I jumped in the window. That was you? Goodness me, you gave me a bit of a fright. Sorry, sorry. I just get so excited when people come to visit. You're a dog, right? Only the bestest, best, goodiest thing. My human says so. It's nice to meet you properly. I didn't know there was an official bestest, best dog title. Ah, uh, you may know me by my other accolades, perhaps. The squishiest, smooshiest potato, or the fuzziest, happiest little pooper. That last one might not be an accolade. It's all in the delivery. Hmm. Hang on a moment. Did you say squishiest, smooshiest potato? Sure did. My human calls me that, too. Gosh, that award must have multiple animal categories, then. It's a pleasure to meet fellow potato. Likewise. Anyway, it was lovely to chat. I hope you have a good day. Um, don't go. There's this thing that happened. Can you help me, little potato? What do you need help with? I've lost my balls. Uh, my tennis balls are gone. Come through and I'll show you. Your little duck friend can come too. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad there were just his tennis balls that he lost. 
He's digging for them. Look, no balls! Um, I appreciate this might be a silly question, but aren't they behind you? What? Oh, oh, those are... No, 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 no. Those are just my regular favorite tennis balls. I'm talking about my extra special favorite favorite tennis balls. They're very different. Sure, but how will I know if they're your favorite balls? Don't all tennis balls look the same? Absolutely not. Each one is a subtle difference from the others. The scent, the taste, the texture, the personality. I'm not sure I'd be able to tell their favorites from non-favorites if that's the case. Well, my favorite balls also have bright rainbow-colored stripes. Okay, that's a little easier to find. Now that's a description I can work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me, and I can guard them properly. Fetch the dog's balls. Okay, this is like, uh, all of these animals need my help. I don't really understand it. Every single animal in this city needs my help, but no one's willing to help me. Oh, this has to be it. This has to be it. These are definitely vines. Jump and climb. Climb and jump. Yes, yes. All right, come on. Oh, there's one. There is a tennis ball. How do I... Oh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, this is going to be tricky. I'm so bad at jumping in this game. Hey, I got it. I got it. Sticky business. Oh, wait, I got one of the balls. I got one of the balls. Oh, there's a shiny there too. Well, you know what? Ah, let's jump there and get the shiny while we're here. We got seven new shinies now. And now let's bring the first ball back. Can I not, can I not pick it up? I have to, I have to kick it. Are you kidding me? All right, fine. Kick it into the hole. Bam. All right, we got the first one. Oh, he's so excited. He's so excited. Did you find them all yet, little potato? No, but I will. All right, so we found the first one. Uh, let's keep climbing. I think I might have seen another one up here. Let's keep climbing. Let's keep climbing. Let's keep climbing, climbing, climbing. Uh, yep, there's another one up there. There is another one up there. Wait, jump. Beautiful. And jump. Oh, this is my favorite part. Knocking pots and plants. What is that? Oh, that's a, there's another duckling. Oh, wait, is that our duckling? That's probably our duckling. I think that's our duckling. I keep thinking I'm finding new ducklings, and it's the same duckling every time. All right, knock it off. There we go. We got the second ball down. Let's put the second one in there. Beautiful. All right, we've got two out of the three balls. Where's the last one? Hopefully it's close. Maybe he'll give me a clue. Did you find them all yet, little potato? Oh, here we go. Do you remember which direction any of them went? One of them went doof, 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 clog. I think it might be inside something plastic. Okay, thank you. Uh, I see a plastic bucket. I don't, oh, wow, wow, wow. That was the easiest one out of all of them. That was the easiest one out of all of them. All right, put them in. Bam! You did it, little potato. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I fetched the dog's balls. Okay. As a reward, here's an official little potato costume. Ah, uh, an official little potato costume, courtesy of my big friend, Big Potato. All right. I didn't really want that, but fine. Can I put these on? How do I put these, like, achievement things on? Oh, here we go. Where? Oh, that's adorable. I've got a little dog hat on now. I haven't really explored this side of things yet. So here's a shiny. Wait, was that a dog bone? There's a dog bone. Oh, wait a second. Okay, okay. There's probably, there's probably a good spot that I can use this. Let's try to find... Let's try to find this one right down there. So if I basically go the complete opposite direction I was going, was it a dog that was blocking our path or was it water? I don't remember. Oh, maybe we could go in here? Ah, uh, yes, there it is. There it is. It's in a puddle of water, which I just don't appreciate. I don't appreciate that. All right, let's talk to the duckling. Look at me, I have a pond all to myself. Are you sure it's a pond? I'm a duck. We know about ponds. My apologies. I think it might be time to get out of the pond, though. Your dad sent me to collect you for all, for show and tell. But there's still water to play in. Ugh, how can you stand it? Water? It's so cold and wet. Yuck. Wait, so does this mean you can't collect me until I'm out of the water? Uh-oh. Yay! Pond time forever! I should have seen that coming. Hmm. There must be a way to get this little one out of the water without getting wet. Uh, there's a mop. Can I pick up the mop? No, no, no. Negative on the mop. There's got to be like paper towels or something. Oh, what about the fan? What about the fan? Yes. The fan is going to dry the puddle 
and then the duck won't have water anymore. At least that's my theory. I really have no idea if this is going to work or not. Or maybe the, maybe the fan's just going to knock the duckling out of the pump. That might be what we're doing here. That's what it did. That was such a cool solution, kitty. Let's go, kitty. All right, the duck doesn't seem too mad at me. I'm going to pick up this bone again. And let's go back to dad. Now I just don't remember where dad was. This city is so big, I keep getting lost. Here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, we got two of them. We got two of them for you, Papa Duck. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.